we first noticed uh, that he was walking differently uh, when he first came out of the den box, so only a couple weeks old. We thought he might be a little bit slower developing, but then we realized he wasn't getting much better. The hip joint normally is a ball and socket joint where the head of the femur sits into the socket and Nigel essentially does not have this socket so it's very flattened on the edge of the pelvis and so the head of the femur doesn't have a joint to sit in. And we found that the joint had gotten worse and he was dragging that foot to the point that now he has infection in his foot and the pad was abraded and, and had a pretty large deep wound. So if we didn't do the amputation, he would probably continue to drag that foot and continue to have wounds and associated issues with that. Eventually the leg would develop arthritis as he got older. As far as we know, this has never been done before in an African wild dog. It certainly is done in domestic dogs as a somewhat routine procedure of amputating a rear leg, but we think this is probably a first for an African wild dog. just to let him heal and uh, get him better. Uh, having some in the back with him and some out on exhibit could cause unnecessary stress for everyone in the pack. And they're a highly social species and seeing that they're still only about six months old, they need their parents to teach them things. They need those brothers and sisters to also learn from. Yeah, we're hopeful that once he's recovered from the surgery and learns how to get around on three legs, that he'll do really well, be able to have a normal life and an improvement in his quality of life.